Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So this is definitely not my normal intro, but when I was filming, my mic cut out unfortunately, and I thought I would go ahead and just do a quick little voiceover to explain what is happening in today's video. So this is going to be a palette bingo using the Paulina Times Blush Tribe collaboration palette, which is on screen right now. It's such a beautiful pinky green color scheme, so unique. And this is actually kind of a special video because it's going to be a giant collaboration between a ton of smaller influencers. There's so many people doing it. I couldn't even begin to list the, the people. So I'm going to have a link down below, which is a playlist. And it's going to have everyone's video in case you want to go ahead and binge watch them and see all the different looks and the randomness. I think it's going to be super, super fun. And part of it is the fun, but also we wanted to kind of send a message just about how the beauty community can also be good and positive and uplifting. And we wanted to celebrate Paulina and celebrate smaller influencers and just show, I don't know, a different side of things. So I hope you guys enjoy it. The rules basically are that everyone is going to be using the shade Paulina, which is the hot pink and then using some type of random generator to pick out four other shades and it's as simple as that so let's just go ahead and jump right on in all right i put one to eight so let's go ahead and generate first is eight which is a good sign so now we have aubergine which is a really nice deep shade i'm just going to go ahead and swatch these on my hand just to show you the color scheme i'm working with i'm also just going to go ahead and do paulina since that's like the automatic color that applies. So there's our color scheme thus far. All right, next we have the shade one, one of my favorites. So that is the shade friends, but that looks like it is the most beautiful bright green. Next we have two, <laughs> which is the shade Sige. All right, so there is Sige, just like a mid-tone green. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping I get a shimmer next. All right, last shade, three. Oh, great, okay. It literally went one, two, three, but that's fine. It's it's a random number generator, so now we have Soli. So we have a shimmer. I'm guessing, hmm, I'm guessing I should do greens on my lid. I've got the three greens there that'll go really well together. Hmm. Actually, I think I have an idea. I think I know what I'm going to do. So there is the color scheme I'm working with. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my hand off and then I'll jump right on into the eye look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the shade Friends. And I'm going to go ahead and start off by popping that into my crease. This is going to be my transition shade today. I wiped off my brush because it had a little bit of brown on it, but I think that it's, I didn't wipe it off good enough because I think it's changing the color. It's normally just a touch brighter. <laughs> my bad. I'm just so excited about this video because it's been being planned for such a long time. And I just think that it's gonna be so special for Paulina to see everyone, you know, just supporting her collaboration in, in this way. and. Just being so excited for her and for small influencers just wanting to kind of portray something a little different rather than like this competitive like cutthroat industry that some people make it out to be. I think the small inf influencer community is where it's at. <laughs> it's a good place to be. I'm also going to go ahead and take that same shade Friends on a little bit more of like a flat brush and I'm going to pop that onto my inner corner just to give it a little bit more impact and that's going to be my inner corner highlight today. I might have to go in and refresh it once I finish blending the lid but I just thought that would look really cool. Alright now I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here called Sige. I'm just going to pick it up on the same brush. This one is a little bit like not as like loose as friends so you have to kind of like buff your brush in there to get the product up but I'm gonna go ahead and start that off on my outer V and then just bring it through my crease to add some depth all right so I feel like I got that as deep as I want it to be I'm gonna go ahead and grab that same brush just wipe it off and get all that excess 
deeper green away and then I'm going to go back into friends again and just use a little bit more of that to help blend. My friends is starting to get like a really good dip in it and I'm kind of curious if this is going to be the first matte shade I ever hit pan on. That'd be pretty crazy. Actually, I think I hit pan, never mind. I've hit pan on um, uh, some shades in the Modern Renaissance and some shades in the Lorac 1, but I haven't hit pan on any matte shades this year. So we'll see. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take Soli. And I'm going to pop that just right over my lid. Such a beautiful metallic green, but it's an interesting tone. It's like a greeny, silvery, bluey, just perfection. All right, so if you haven't figured it out already, I'm going to go ahead and use these two shades on my lower lash line. So I'm going to start off with Aubergine first. And I'm going to put that onto the outer part of my lower lash line gonna kind of keep it nice and tight but just using this tiny little brush to buff it out a little and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Paulina not even gonna bother to wipe off that brush because I'm going to be blending the two shades together anyways and then last but not least just grabbing a little bit more of friends and re-intensifying the inner corner all right really quickly I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this eye look with my ardency in liner in the shade deep purple and the Too Faced Bright Insect mascara I just love how mascara always completes a look. It does it does so much, so I think it looks really beautiful. I think I got some really great colors in my random generator selection. So I thought I would go ahead and finish up my face with two other influencer collaborations that I really enjoy. Mostly I wanted to just go ahead and use my Ofra um, March Beauty Word highlighter because it's really, really beautiful. It's uh, the Samantha March collaboration with a mixture of Pillow Talk and Star Island. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on the tops of my cheekbones and just buff it in. And then for lips, I thought about using my e.l.f. times Alyssa Ashley gloss, but I cannot find it for the life of me. So I pulled out my Pixie times Chloe Morello lip gloss, which is in the shade icing, or no, it's a lip icing in the shade cake. I always mix that up, but this is just a really beautiful, like, semi-glittery gloss, but also really comfortable. smells really good. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look doing the Paulina palette bingo. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe got a little inspired. I think that this is a really beautiful look and I have been wanting to do friends on the inner corner again. I think I did it in a look. I don't even know if I filmed it. I did it once before, but I really like the combination that is happening here today and it's extra fun since it was random. So I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.